Here come the Flames after turning it over up the middle. They're back on the attack in front. The tip scores Garrett Nelson. That's one of the strengths of this Flames team in transition when they force turnovers either in their zone or their neutral zone because you have to keep your head on a swivel because they will burn you with their speed and that is what happened on that play. Fantastic work all around and then you have a guy like Garrett Nelson. We talked about it. This is a healthy Garrett Nelson this season. Also married Garrett Nelson too. And he's just <laughs> been a man on a mission. One of the top scoring defensemen in all the ACHA. Fantastic work putting the flames up. Can't get that shot on net. Lakaitis towards the goal. Flipped out in front, batted out of the air. That bats it out the air, low enough so it's not a high stick. Great concentration for the young man and for the guy who's been on a tear, his 20th goal now of the season. Boy, what a goal. Yeah, they eventually started getting it together, but you definitely want to start writing that and fixing that now. Here's another odd man rush. Gammer, backhander, beauty. Like the goal he scored last night comes in with his head down, full, full ahead of steam. But oh boy, this power forward, he is getting his done. Now his 11th goal of the year. And we said it last night, Cole Gammer now being inserted into a more consistent role of the lineup is going to be a very dangerous weapon here for this flame team. I mean, Here's look the, at this. The hard part is just look at the elevation he's getting off the backhand. Flat footed start for the Flames in their home opener. The message has been received, come out with a lot more urgency. And unfortunately, even though the Flames have been cruising in this period, finds a great one that sneaks through, just like off of the stick of Zimmer. Yeah, this is a seeing eye shot. You give this group a lot of credit. This fourth line for Delaware has produced for them. Hey, take a look here. That's a good screen in front. Myers Fantastic never saw screen. it. You could tell by the way he reacted when he heard the thud in the back of the net. And Delaware has life. That shot stop, rebound, kicked out. Brett Gammer leaving it for brother Cole. Cole Gammer cuts the middle. One hands it around. What a wow. goal! Oh, baby! What a goal did we just see? Gammer gets his second of the night off of the assist from his little brother. And boy, yeah, you thought actually he was going to turn it over. He comes with speed, trying to make a move on the defenseman. Defense plays it perfectly, but wow. he's able to regroup quickly enough and then put it on the backhand because Ponticello, he's way out of position at this point. Look at this. That's got to be, you know, I'd get the tweets going, Pat. Oh, yeah. That one might have a... A pretty good shot at getting on the ESPN top 10 tonight. This line, Pat, has been so dominant in this game. It really has, not just this game, but ever since the game versus Slippery Rock. And whoa! Now Bohinski is sixth point of the weekend off of a brilliant beat from Cole Gammer, who gets killed in for his trouble. And I think that's one element this line has done well. On the pass, even the guy knows I'm about to get abused here but I'm gonna throw it out anyway to see if my man can finish. And that's the third goal just this weekend where you've seen an action like that. The guy who gets passed gets destroyed, and then the guy, but the guy credits and helps him out putting in the back of the net. And Bohinski there was falling down and still managed to get a fair bit of mustard on that shot as he took a top shelf stick side. Middle of the ice, Mazzella. Couldn't control it cleanly. The tip, the goal. Beautiful redirect by Niski. That's a fantastic look by your captain being able to get on the scoring sheet. He's known more for his ability to find guys and create time and space, leading the league in assists with 30. But he's also able to put it in the back of the net. Actually, he uses the back of him going in. And Colin Baird. Hamilton. 
Head to Cox. Cox looking far side. It makes its way through in front. What a goal! Oh. Front and Hamilton finds the back of the net. Yeah, fantastic tic-tac-toe passing, really definition of it. And it's interesting because these are three guys until yesterday haven't played together in their career. So it's fantastic to them to draw up a play like that. Near side, Quinn Ryan along the boards, gets tripped up. And Niski is gonna have a breakaway from this. Can he narrow the gap? Yes, he can! Wow. Niski gets his second. And now cuts this now to only a three goal lead. Forces the turnover, unfortunately. Gordon Ryan loses his footing. And it leads to a breakaway chance from the team's top point scorer. Nice finish from Niski. And Josh Frick's not pleased. He thought there should have been a penalty. You can tell Kirk Handy thinks the same. So definitely put them on their heels for a bit in that contest. But so definitely that's what we're saying that Delaware, they're going to score early. They can't mind. The guy you've been loving, I believe Andy Clark, been the secret ingredient to the Bohinski and Cole Gammer magic. Now gets the Flames back on the board, scoring early in the third and doing it right. Was it him? Yeah, actually, I take that back. Oh, that might no, be a cool gamer, maybe. Uh, it was. Or, it was Andy Clark. But I feel I feel so bad for Ponticello this weekend. That's the second time his defender has put the puck past him. Putting things together to have a very special year and starting to set things up. Like Kytus, his shot, bar down. <laughs> Here. That's another one in this game. Lakaitis just freezes. All the blue heads in front but with the move. Take another look. Patience waits and all oh, the defense and also Ponticello way out of position and he has basically the entire left side of the net to work with. That's just a fantastic work here for Lakaitis comes in and makes such an impact and plays top minutes his first year. Yeah. That's, that's worth a lot. Pass in front, Blomberg. And unfortunately, we saw a late rush coming from Delaware, but now I think the wheels have fallen off the bus. As the Flames now, Blomberg makes it nine to three. You know what's crazy is that the fourth line tonight for LU has scored two of the more pretty passing goals on the yeah. night. Like, like, just like almost setting it up. We were talking about basketball earlier, and it looks like just some good textbook ball movement, but actually it's puck movement yeah. here, and just fantastic work. Robert tied up with Ostrander, and the refs just letting everything go, and fortunately there's only two and a half minutes remaining in this one. Brock Thompson scores. <laughs> It's tough for that young man right there because we've said how much rubber he's seen tonight and even some great saves he's made, but now it, it's just... It gets to a certain point as a goaltender where you, you start to feel numb. And yeah. uh, I feel bad for Ponticello because, like I said, this guy, he can play. Like, he can. There's nothing about it. And that's going to do it. The Flames. Absolutely fill the Blue Hens net in a 10-3 victory. Fantastic work for LU. As we said, start to finish came out with what looked like a sense of purpose. As they definitely, we said, the number two team in the country putting it on display here in their first two games of the new year. Now to move to 20-3 and three on the season. Cole Gammer, an impressive day today with two goals, a highlight reel marker as well. Over past round, Brett McGibbon saying so long from Lynchburg, Virginia. The final, 10-3. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. 
Have a great night, God bless, and we'll see you back here in a couple weeks.